Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Play on GAA with me, Seamus Brady. In this video, we are going to be talking about the Armagh versus Donegal match, which took place in the Ulster Football Championship of 2022, culminating in a comfortable victory for Donegal by 116 to 12 points. Pretty disappointing considering the league match, obviously the way that that finished Armagh's league form, it was really set up to be a real real Ulster championship type match with a lot of, you know, tension, a lot of aggression, real tight match, but Donegal just kind of put Armagh away. So let's get into the full match review here on Play on GA. Let's get started. So first of all, there was a lot of tension going into the game because Armagh's three suspended players had been cleared to play this game. That was Reno Neal, Stefan Campbell and Aidan Nugent, whereas Donegal's two suspended players were still suspended for this game. But Donegal still made a fast start. The Jason McGee point had them three points to one up. Tiernan and Kelly responded for Armagh, making it three points to two. And then they were level after, and then after, sorry, uh, Connor Turbot point, Armagh were now in front. Four points to three, responding to the Jason McGee point by hitting three in a row of the round. So an even start to the first few minutes. Donegal were level, and then Rory Grugan put Armagh back in front with a lovely point off his left foot to make it five points to four. But then Donegal started to pull away, hitting four of the next five points to make it eight points to six. And then just before halftime, Kieran Thompson hit a beauty to make it nine points to six to Donegal at halftime. And three points in the Ulster Championship is actually quite a big lead. The defences there are usually so good. And Donegal's defence has improved, in my opinion, a lot since the league started. In the second half, Armagh did have an early goal chance, though. Reno Neal caught the ball from a long ball in, but he kind of fell towards the goal. He was bottled up then by Sean Patton and a number of Donegal defenders. The ball ended up in the back of the net, and the referee gave a free out, disallowing the goal. And let's talk about this for a second. I don't really see what Reno Neal actually did wrong. When they showed it in the, in the slow motion replays, he doesn't throw the ball. He doesn't even really push Sean Patton. He just kind of makes it a bit awkward and the ball kind of bounces off him into the net. It was not pretty on the eye. It really wasn't. And there was so much moving around. I think the referee just assumed that Reno Neal had done something wrong and gave the, gave the free out. I don't think Sean Patton had the ball under control. In my opinion, I think that goal actually should have stood. And if I had of, Armagh would have been right back in the game. They would have been level. As it turned out, uh, Armagh were not, allowed that goal and shortly after that Reno Neal took a long range free which hit the post it bounced back down to Aidan Nugent and it was brilliantly saved by Sean Patton Nugent went for goal and Sean Patton saved we talk about obviously Armagh being poor but if either one of those goals goes in and is allowed Armagh are right back in the game and they're level and maybe the rest of the game looks different as it turns out both of those goals were goal chances didn't result in a goal for Armagh then Donegal went down the other end and pointed with a lovely score from Shane O'Donnell, who was improving so much. He was one of the fines of the league, in my opinion. He's a very, very good player. And then shortly after O'Donnell's point, McBrarty, Paddy McBrarty, who had a quiet game up to this point, pops up when Donegal really need him. With a 1-2 with Quaylon Ward after a patient move involving Shane O'Donnell and Jason McGee. Then plays it, plays it to Paddy McBrarty, who sets off doing a 1-2 with Quaylon Ward, who had hung out on the wing wisely for a long time Ward squares it back into McBrady who palms it into the back of the net 110 to Donegal 6 points to Armagh um, uh, a lovely response by Stefan Campbell to make it 110 to 7 points and a lovely Ben Creeley point also brought them back to it in three after Donegal responded to the Stefan Campbell point. The sides traded points, but then McBrady hit a trademark score to make it 113 to 10 points. Michael Murphy hit a lovely point as well. Good to see him back to full fitness. 115 to 11 points, that score made it. And then both sides added one more point each. But Donegal finishing out victors by seven points. Sean Kavanagh referred to it as a seven-point hammering. It's hard to argue with that. Donegal were the better team. I think the goal chances right at the start of the second half, if one of those had gone in and been counted, I think Armagh would have drastically improved with the momentum because they are a bit of a momentum team, in my opinion. Like the burst that they had against Dublin and Tyrone in the league, that's when they won those games. So I think the game could have been different if the goals had stood, but they didn't. And Donegal did win the game and they were comfortable winners in the end. And you, you would have thought there would have been a bit more momentum behind Armagh, especially with Reno, Neil, Campbell and Nugent coming back from their suspensions. I thought 
there would have been more of a bounce to them, but there wasn't. Donegal go on to play Cavan in the Ulster semi final, a game that I think they will win. I don't think they'll take their eye off the ball again, especially after what happened in 2020. So Donegal on potentially for an Ulster final, providing they don't slip up against Cavan. Potential Ulster champions. I mean, really, really interesting to see how they get on. Obviously, who will come out of the other side? Will it be Tyrone? Will it be Monaghan? Will it be Derry? Very, very interesting to see. The Ulster Championship, by far and away, the most interesting province, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, uh, Donegal set for an Ulster final, in my opinion, after this victory. And, yeah, be very interesting to see who joins them there or if Cavan can stop them. That's my opinion of this game. I think Armagh will be okay in the qualifiers. I think they'll make it true. Um, but, yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what type of challenge they can put in for the All-Ireland, especially with a start like this to the Championship. This would not have been what McGinney was looking for. So, the finish is Donegal 116, Armagh 12 points. Donegal happy with a win. Armagh a bit disappointed with that performance and that defeat but they live to fight another day. So they finished Donegal 116 and match up points. Don't know why I'm saying that again, but yeah, just in case you forgot it in the two seconds since I last said it, that is the match review here on Play on GA. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And until next one, guys, take care.